Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to set elements proportions depending on screen size using WebWave Website Builder. I'm going to use advanced size units, viewport height and viewport width. Let's get started. Let's start by adding a picture. I've already found this beautiful aerial view New York photograph. I'm going to set it as 100% wide and change pixels to viewport height and viewport width dynamic units. They let you decide what percent of the height and width of the screen will be taken by the element and where to actually place it. Let's set its height to 100% as well so that the picture will cover whole screen no matter the device resolution. Now I'm going to add some text. Pick the font, size and color. Let's center the headline and set it as 100% white. We want to display it on 30% of the screen, so I'm going to switch the units to dynamic. But height can be left in pixels, actually. Let's also see how it looks on smaller screen sizes. Great! Below, I'm going to place the button. Add your own text, pick a font and switch on a dynamic position. Let's also change the colors in both states. And now we have a nicely looking section that will fill every user's full screen. Our next step will be to create another section. I'm going to add a headline, pick a size and the font, and let's type something like attractions of the city and set it as 100% white. Now let's add an icon and some text. Center it and switch on its dynamic position. Set the width as 30% of the screen. Same thing for the icon. Switch on dynamic position and center everything. Select everything, copy and paste and place it evenly. Now it's time to create our final section. I'm going to copy the headline and change it to visit us. Great! Let's also add a map and switch on its dynamic position and set it to cover 60% of the screen's width. On the opposite side, I'd like to have some text. Position it to the right, set the width to 30% and leave some space from the border. It will look way better. Everything looks great, but as you can see, on some screen sizes, those elements are overlapping. We should fix that. Starting from the top, I'm going to bind those two elements so that the text will not cover the button. Now I'm going to group the elements from every section and at the end bind them too. Now they will push off each other. As you can see, problem solved. Great. To finish off, let's have a closer look at the bottom section in the mobile view. Both the map and the text are covering accordingly 60 and 30% of the available space but smartphone screens are too small for them to be readable in these proportions. That's why I'm going to rearrange the layout a bit. The map is going to be above the text, and both elements will be set as 100% white. What's important, those changes will be implemented to mobile view only. On bigger screen, everything will remain the same. How cool! Let's see how the final version of our website looks like. Take a deeper look at the bottom section that we've just worked on. As you can see, correct proportions are kept on every screen type, including mobile one. Good job! Fantastic! Now our website will look great on every screen, no matter its size. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!